And then we begin to see as we look at these old things that this massaging of the texts into chapters and numbers wasn't in the original texts. If we can see that Lao Tzu was not in 81, and that if we go to the earlier texts that have been found, it's just a written thing, and it was not meant to be separated in our heads in terms of chapters. We weren't meant to take a breath and lean back and go, ah, chapter 20. Mm. We were just meant to keep reading. <laughs> Everything's in context <laughs> of before and after what's coming. And therefore, we can then assume that the Neijing wasn't written, the Su Wan was not written, that none of these were written in this way and then in that later Han period, in that Han period of what was going on, the numbers, the organization was important to those people. And they began to make it fit that way. And then people began to mimic it. And it became the way people did that. I mean, 365 herbs in the Shandong Ban Cao. 365 points on the body. Is that like just by accident, like they had only discovered 365? No, it was a decision. They chose to talk about 365 herbs, not because there was only 365, but because they wanted, at this time, they were massaging these things. And so they gathered the knowledge of the plants. And somewhere there was probably an old book that had lots of information on these things. And they organized and they picked 365 because they wanted to match the number of days of the year and how it's all working with the calendar. And then with herbs, you did that. And so they have this book, 365 herbs. But there's a whole number of herbs that aren't listed in the book. So come the next book, they do another 365. So you have 365 plus 365. And they pick that number again, but it doesn't mean there weren't more herbs. There's lots of herbs. Same in the acupuncture. I mean, really, 365 points? Well, they were like, obviously, you had to massage the numbers to get there. And then they were like, well, but this works too. So now we have extra points. <laughs> Ta-da! It's like, like, because, I mean, extra points aren't extra points. It just didn't fit 365. <laughs> and then you realize that there's so many points going on that then you have like, OK, well, all right, we've got a point in these points. And we got the 365 that was massaged or chosen on purpose. I mean, when you look at a channel and you think that the person got to 365, and you're like, God, this is a really good spot, but I can't make a point here. What, you think like there's no chi in that section of the channel, and then all of a sudden there's a piece of there? I mean, come on. It was a number on purpose, 365. And then they do the extras. And then what do they do for the more? Ah, sure. Now you're free. Points are anywhere. But if we go back to the Neijing, it says, you know, it's where you have that sensation. I talked about that in one of the seminars, uh, Sun Samyang's quote about Asher, about what the Neijing says and all these things. So uh, all of this is not meant to be viewed as argued about what's in what chapter, or what's organized one way. We're just supposed to get enlightened by this, have something happen to us. <laughs>